Hi, today um, I'm going to just do a quick tutorial showing how you can use the Fusion Channel and also um, using selection sets just to apply a material just to one polygon or a set of polygons. So we're going to just go ahead and start off with a cube and I'll leave it as it, at its defaults and go ahead and add a fillet just so we get a little highlight edge and we'll just take that down to two, leave the subdivisions at five and that's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and make it editable. So I'm going to go ahead and hit C so that, that now we can get to our polygons on there. Um, let's throw in a couple lights with some shadows just so we can get a better view. So it's just an Omni light by default. Bring it up. And on that light, I'm just going to turn on soft shadows. And then I'll copy it and paste it to get a second light in for a little fill over here. And we'll... Uh, Maybe scoot that back a little and take that down to its intensity of only 75% so we can get a little contrast here. All right, that looks good. Now we're going to create a material, uh, just a basic wood material using a, a JPEG as a texture map. So I'm going to double click down here in my material manager. And you can always work over here in your attribute manager, but I prefer to double click on uh, the material and that way it opens a separate window where you can see all your channels. Um, what's checked, what's not, and easily see what you're on. So I'm going to go to my color channel, and inside your color channel, you can always just use a color um, from your color picker. You can also load in a bitmap, which is what we're going to do. And there's also other shaders in here. So there's surfaces, tiles, fire, uh, checkerboards, bricks. So those are things you can use. But for here, we're just going to use a little JPEG. So I'm going to load image, hit that wood JPEG, bring it in. I'm not going to make a copy here, but depending on if you want to keep them very organized, if you say yes, it'll create a texture folder, a little TEX folder in your location of your cinema file. And then from there, you can easily keep track of your, your uh, texture maps. So I want to create a copy of the project location. Say yes or no. We'll do no. And then now we've got our wood material. So I'm going to drag it on here from the material manager onto the cube. We can see up here now we have our texture map tag as well, or texture tag. And I'm going to throw a bump map on here. So right now this is just UVW mapping. That's fine for what we're doing. Um, but for now I'm going to throw on a bump map. So I'll check that checkbox so it activates it. And then we can go ahead again and load in a texture so we can go load image here. Or you can also just hit these three dots. And I want the wood bump open that and now we can see it gives a little effect so it's just a grayscale image if we crank this up it gets a little nasty but somewhere maybe around 30 percent should be okay I'm gonna go ahead and render over here and it's a little pixelated it's not the best what that is is our anti-aliasing settings by default are at geometry so for final renders you always want to boost this up um, but just for the sake of this I'm gonna take it to best 2 by 2 4 by 4 zoom in a little and then that's much nicer we can see our detail it looks a little cleaner you can see how the specular affects that bump giving us the illusion that it's got um, you know some divots and raised grain so I'll close that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a little label on here so I'm just gonna use that same wood texture because using the fusion channel what you can do is apply another material sort of a decal almost on top of a different bitmap and use an alpha channel to um, create a blend between the two. So I'm going to go ahead and copy, let's actually name this before we get too far, so I'm going to change that to wood. And I'm going to copy and paste that material and we'll name this one wood label. I'll double click that so we can get into the edit mode here in the material editor. So back in my color channel, where we had picked the load image, I'm going to go ahead and go down to Fusion. Now it goes black. We can still see that our bit, our bump map is still in effect. But if you click on this thumbnail under the Fusion shader, it'll take you into sort of its workings. And now we can see our wood texture has been moved into a channel called Base Channel. We have a Blend Channel, and there's also a slot for Mask Channel. So in our Blend Channel, let's go ahead and load image. And I'm going, that'll be your sort of decal image. So I'm loading in danger color, JPEG. Now that overrides 
the wood right now because it's on top. So what we need to do is throw in a mask. So check this use mask box. Now that lets us load something into this channel. Danger Alpha, it's just a little grungy um, alpha channel I made in Photoshop. And now we can see we get it applied with the transparency of the alpha channel on top and the grunge on top of our existing wood. So, and the bumps coming through all of the channels, so it's kind of nice, it gives a nice fusion of, of, the, of what you got there. So you can also, just like Photoshop, you've got your blending mode, so if you wanted a, maybe a hard light to get a little more punch on it, um, you can change your blend here if you want it more distressed, faded back in the background. Um, you can go that route as well. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and close this and we can go ahead and drag this up on top of our cube. Now it creates another texture tag here and it's overriding our other wood texture. So if we you know, swap these, you can see whatever's to the right will layer on top of the one to the left. So I'm gonna move this back over to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and make a selection set and just apply it to this front face. So what we can do is select our cube, go to our polygon tool, go to my select tool, I'll grab his front face, and under select, go to set selection. And you'll see up here we've got a new tag, which is a selection set. And if you click on that, you can go ahead and name it. So we'll name that front face. And now if we select our texture tag for our label, we can go ahead and drag this down into the selection area and it'll just apply that texture map to that polygon selection. So if I went in and click that and then went back to my polygon tool and shift selected another one, had that selection still uh, highlighted and went select, set selection, it'll override. So now we can see that those two polygons have it so you can go and you can add um, materials to uh, whatever polygon selections you have. And whenever you set selection, if you wanted to select, set a new selection, make sure you don't have this selected because it'll always just override. And if you have it off and then set a new selection, you'll get another tag. Make sure to name it just so you don't get confused later and have a bunch of tags that just say polygon selection because that can be really confusing. So I'm gonna go ahead just to get rid of this guy we can select it, hit restore selection, make sure my cube selected there. Restore selection will let me see what's going on. So if I even select off, so nothing selected, restore selection. And then I could go ahead, command click this to unselect it, make sure it's selected up here, set selection, and now it's gone. So it reset that with just that single polygon um, selected. So that's pretty much it. Um, the blend channel or the fusion channel can be very useful. Um, selection sets always come in handy. So thanks for watching.